Hello and welcome to Level Construction. Up to this point, you've seen a wide variety of topics over what Unreal Ed can do in terms of level creation. And now we're going to combine the different topics we've covered as we proceed through the creation of our very own Deathmatch level. In this series, we're going to walk you through the entire process of building the level that you see right here in Unreal Ed. Logan, let's go ahead and jump into the level real quick. Oh yeah, now as you can see, it's quite a bit more involved than the simple rooms that you've created so far. You can see that we've got much, much more visual detail, much more complex lighting. There's doors that open and close in here. We've got catwalks. We've got functioning lifts. We've got a generator room. We've got a slime pit. There's all sorts of stuff. As a matter of fact, Logan, if you don't mind, go ahead and give the grand tour. All right, well, we can see we've got two major rooms in place here. The first room acts as well called the steam room. We've got some machinery lining the walls. We've got a kind of broken tile floor. And we've got a glass-framed uh, hallway or a wall that okay. divides the two. Now, if we look over in the corner, we've got a lift system. This lift system gives us access to the second level inside the room. So we can jump on the lift, ride to the top, and now we're on the second level catwalks. We can follow these across the first room through a doorway and into the slime room. Now from the sl slime room we can see the two generators placed as well as four spotlights along the top of a second lift system. If we wished we could use that lift system to ride up to the top of the second room giving access points in both rooms. Now like I said this is definitely a lot more involved than what you saw at the very beginning of all these training videos where we showed you how to take two rooms, tie them together with a simple hallway and then just throw a few static meshes and some lights in there and all was good. Here, we've got a lot of things going on, and like I said, we're going to walk you through the entire process, setting up the shell, our BSP shell, setting up all of our static meshes. The one area, though, where we are going to slow down a bit is when we get into lighting. We're not going to walk you through the process of placing every single light in this level for the simple fact that that would take a couple of hours. And, you know, setting each light and then each light's properties, it's just a very involved process. So instead, what we're going to do is when we get to that part, we'll have all the lighting already set up, but then we will walk around to every major light, actually pretty much every minor light as well, and talk about the properties and exactly what that light's goal is, what it's trying to do in, a, in regards to illumination. So that's a quick overview of what we've got planned here. When we get to the very end of putting all this together, we'll bring Zach in. We'll have him introduce you to bot pathing. We'll get some bots set up in here. We'll drop in some weapons, and we'll see if we can turn it into a bit of a game. So with that, Logan, let's go ahead and get started with level construction.